Alcohol. Is it spiritual? How does it fit into a conscious life? How does alcohol fit into a healthy life is probably the better question. Why are we bringing spirituality into something that is healthy or not? You cut yourself, right? And you were bleeding and there was a, an open wound and you went and put out straight alcohol onto that wound. What would happen? <laughs> it would burn. It would absolutely do a lot of damage to you. You'd feel absolutely, you would feel it. Why would you put, drink that internally? Just because it doesn't feel that painful drinking it internally because the fortitude of the intestines and all the gases and all the strength of the internal organs just because they protect and make you not feel what alcohol is doing to you inside, you think it's okay to drink. That's delusion. Alcohol on, the, on an open wound is going to be alcohol on the inside as well. And the fact that you wake up the next day and can't operate <laughs> is a very clear indicator that alcohol is most definitely doing damage to you. You can't think straight, you don't have the energy. You're just a lazy sack of potatoes laying on the couch and just trying not to move. How is that gonna to contribute to being healthy and then how's that even gonna to contribute to you being the best version of yourself, to spiritually evolving, to reaching the heights of fulfillment and joy and satisfaction in life? How are you ever gonna get there if every Sunday you can't get out of bed because you're hungover? If you wanna drink alcohol, drink it in moderation. And moderation is in the amount you drink in one session and moderation in the fact that you don't have sessions every week. You have sessions as a celebratory thing that doesn't happen every single day of the week. Once a month, once a quarter, whatever it is. Be conscious. And more importantly, the punchline. What is the alcohol that you need to drink every weekend to have fun and have be confident and go up to the girl or the guy that you wouldn't go up to if you were sober? What is that covering up? What is the addiction to alcohol really covering up? Why do you need this confidence from alcohol? Why don't you get the confidence internally? Why do you need something external to give you some kind of validation internally? That's the real question here, folks. Why do you need alcohol to be worthy and to have confidence? Why don't you have your worth and your confidence already up internally? Why can't you be charismatic without the alcohol? Why do you need the alcohol to open up? These are the questions that you should be answering instead of is it healthy or not? It's like, what is my addiction to alcohol covering up? What insecurities am I not <laughs> visiting? What, what insecurities am I not prepared to deal with that I would rather distract myself and numb myself with alcohol to cover up? Because you're going to find that alcohol is most definitely showing you that you have deep insecurities that you're willing and able not to go into because you're, you're afraid of what's there. Look at yourself in the mirror and really answer this question. Am I really happy with the life I'm living? Am I really happy with being hungover every week? Am I really happy needing alcohol to have a, a good time? <laughs> you can have a good time without alcohol. You can actually have confidence and self-worth and be charismatic without alcohol. Look at the real reason why you're drinking.